exploit for their own advantage. So the good news here is that you can go to court against trademark schools and win, yes, even in Russia. The bad news is it's not easy. It takes time and more importantly money to pay the legal fees to defend that trademark, which is why it's so critical for SCP to be able to raise the funds to fight that legal battle. Luckily, it already looks like they have the funds that they need. The same community that came together to create an intricate and sprawling shared universe has also banded together to defend that shared universe against Russian trademark trolls. And I think that's the real story here. Whoa. It can be easy to get upset about the that world scary. being full of selfish people looking to cheat the system for their own good, but it's filled with a far greater number of people who are willing to come together to defend against a few bad apples who try to muck things up. It's a bummer that this thing had to happen. And in some ways it represents the worst parts of what we see online. But it's also revealed some of the best elements of being a part of an online community that's brought joy and entertainment to thousands of people. In the end, even if you're not an SCP member, this case is worth following and worth being hey, educated scary. about because Creative Commons licenses govern a lot of what you see on the websites that you use the most, including this one. So it's in our collective best interest to keep it as intact as possible. Fight on, SCP! I'm sorry that this time the thing that you have to secure, contain, and protect is your own right to exist. But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory! Thanks for watching. Whoa. Hey, that was scary.